A quick tip here for Adobe Premiere users who want to be able to see their LUTs when they're using the Lumetri Color plugin. If that doesn't make any sense to you, then this might not be for you. But, you know, you can watch anyway, you might learn a thing or two. Come and join me. And we're in Adobe Premiere and we've got the Color workspace active and we have the Lumetri Color plugin over here. And if you flip open the basic correction panel here, you can see here's input LUT. And I've actually installed a few of my own LUTs in there. And similarly with the Creative, I've installed a lots and lots and lots of LUTs in there. Basically, this little tutorial is gonna show you how to do that so you can see your own LUTs in there. The advantage of doing that is that it means that you can, obviously, you don't have to go browsing around your file system trying to find the files. And also, if you are in the Creative tab, you can flip between and get a little preview of all of the various LUTs before you apply them. So when I find one that I like, say, here we go, Ramshaw 33 Alt, I just double click that and it applies the LUT right away. So it's super convenient, super easy to do. And it's literally just a matter of putting them in the right place. And the right place is not super obvious. So if you want to make the LUTs available only for you, you need to drop them into one of two folders. And to get into one of those two folders here, on the Mac, you're gonna to go to users slash username, and that is the part where you put in your username. In my case, that's Ian. It might be yours, but probably not. Then library application support, Adobe Common LUTs. And I'm gonna show you how to get there on a Mac really quickly. On Windows, that's users, your username, app data, roaming Adobe Common LUTs. Let's have a look at how to get there on the Mac. So I'm just gonna go into the Finder, otherwise known as the desktop. I'm gonna to go to go library. Now, if that's not active there for you, you might want to try holding down the option key to see if that helps the library item come up. Alternatively, if you go go home and then get your view options up, uh, here we go, show view options, you can also show library folder down here and that will, it's basically hidden by default because there's a lot of stuff in there that can cause you to mess up your computer if you don't know what you're doing. But we know what we're doing, so we're gonna show it. Now, when that's, when you're in your library folder, since, since we're just going to library, and now we're gonna go into application support, we're gonna go into Adobe, and we're gonna go into common and LUTs. And then in this LUTs folder, if they're not in there already, you can create them creative and technical. and the difference between them is that the, the LUTs that are in the technical folder are going to show up under this menu, input LUT under basic correction. And the purpose of that is those are LUTs that are like utilities and so you want to perhaps converting the colors from one color space to another like S-Log2 to Rec709 for example, you just pick it under there. And then you can also apply your creative LUT and those are the ones that you put into the creative uh, folder down here. And you can keep them in folders as well. They'll all flatten out when they get into Premiere and then you can just choose them from here very easily, get your beautiful LUT happening and there you go. If you wanna make the LUTs available for everyone on the computer and not just you because you're feeling magnanimous for some reason, these are the paths that you need to go. So no usernames in sight on the Mac, it's library, application support, Adobe, common, LUTs. And on Windows, that's the C drive, program files, Adobe, common, LUTs. And again, you need to put in the creative folder and the technical folder, and then they'll show up in your interface. And happily, the same applies in After Effects as well. So if you're using the Lumetri color plugin in After Effects, then you will see all of your LUTs popping up under the menu without having to browse through your file system they're just right there it's super convenient and a very easy way to work and that's it for LUTs and putting them into your interface hope that was helpful give me a like give me a subscribe and see you LUTter <laughs>